Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about all the different types of labor methods which you can work in XDOC or XGenAV. First of all, to access or change the labor settings, you've got to go under your name and select settings. Under the settings, go inside XDOC settings and then labor settings. Now, which are the different types of labors which you can work in XDOC? So the first one is per item, second overall, and the third custom. Per item labor basically allows you to create different labor heads for each item and assign a cost to company in terms of uh, hourly rates and cost to the client. And then when you add each item in your bomb, you will be able to add hours and will automatically calculate the total labor cost comprising of all these different labor heads which you have assigned for each item. You can edit each head here or you can add more if you would wish to and you can delete them as well. Once you've chosen for item type labor, whenever you start a new document and go inside areas and items, this is how your view for the profit breakdown will be. You'll be able to see uh, the total labor cost to the customer, the labor cost to the company and the labor profit percentage. This view is only available if you choose per item type labor. You will also get a full labor breakdown of all the items which you've added for each for your labor. Now, how do you work on adding hours on each item? It's very simple. Go inside each item and just add the hours for each of the labor heads. And click on save and close. And that's it, your labor has been added. And you will also get a breakup of the pie chart in terms of cost to the company and cost to the client. So this is how you work in per item type labor. Now let's select overall labor. So once you choose overall labor and you come back to your areas and items page, you will see to add overall labor, you will have to go under advanced and then you can choose to add overall labor as a percentage to all the items, total cost of all the items in your bomb, which is basically all the equipment cost, or you can put a lump sum amount in. and you can add uh, different kinds of cost on top of all the equipment items which you have in the box. So you can add admin, engineering, project management, staging or whatever. And you can add more custom sections if you want. Whichever sections you don't want, you can just turn them off by clicking on the check mark. You can also calculate by putting in the total number of hours you think it's going to take for that job and for that program, uh, for that labor head and the hourly rate. And once you're done with this, this is the view which you will get. You will get a slightly different view in overall labor. So you'll get to see the gross margin amount, the total gross margin percentage and the markup percentage if you work in the markup method. And you can also see a proper breakdown of all the items in the label. And this you could choose to show in the PDF as well. If you check this mark, it says display overall labor breakdown in client PDF. Now let's talk about the third type of labor which you can work in X10 AV or X Doc, which is custom labor. So if you choose custom and you come to your areas and items page, you will see that under areas and items, you will have a new section called custom labor. This is where you can completely add different types of labor heads uh, for your proposal. And you can choose to add them in different rooms as well. So let's say I want to add one more labor head and call it as programming. Give it an hourly rate and select which room you want to add this labor to. You can add it to all the rooms if you if you would like to and click on add labor. Now, click on edit 
an add number of days or hours you're going to you think it's going to take to complete this uh job and click save and you can also apply a markup to all the items and that's how your labor is now calculated in custom your view for the profit and pricing breakdown will be very similar to the overall map also friends please remember that whenever you choose your labor type it will only reflect in a new proposal document so if you have created a labor in per item So that was custom name. So yeah, so hope you have a good understanding of what does per item overall or custom labor means. To keep learning more, keep watching this space. Thank you.